Oh, no, I'm not going for that. I'm going boom. I see your pod, Kunka. What? I don't like the Crystal <laughs> Maiden too much. That's he, he likes to be very active with the, with the early BKB and just roam around, make himself unkillable. It's It's been very effective for boom in the past. Yeah, looking like he wants to do that again because already off to a pretty damn nice start. Meanwhile, up top, Ooh. we'll catch the very end of that when FBZ actually getting brought down there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely happy in that. Not quite so happy about how their top lane's doing right now. 25 and 2 to FBZ to the 50 and 19 on the side of Gabby. Like, this man is having a monster start to this game. Oh, meanwhile, though, <laughs> missed out talking about him and Kill ends up getting found in the mid. Armel getting brought down from the two sport rotation from Boom. You know, where he's not going to be having the best laning phase. Hopefully, he can come back in the mid game. Yeah, definitely a bit more sacrificial. Meanwhile, the bot looks like Natsumi's in some danger. Nice Fisher block with the uh, Exism come raining in. Even our Melf can Oh, he pushed him to the other side. Oh, thank the Lord that the uh, Ghosts were able to chase him over the Fisher because that could have been a little bit embarrassing if Natsumi got away from that one. Yeah, he was able to swap his treads from agility to strength, but just was not enough. Oh, it's Nova. Still going for more. Another block in. The old Tusk looking to get Snowball to the other side. It's going to be on our Mel, but even still, KP finds the way around it and next nova will still be getting dropped right now down he goes exo about running out though so they can't do too much damage to the tower even zephyr just dragging the creeper wave they're yeah, just making space doubles back go past though getting involved once again dropping the combo on towards the earth shaker does, does he really have the damage to finish this off arrow does land your posh tiebringer does get it just wax off of kpi and that's a nice pick off there for your page and I like how he farmed the creeps instead of like using the the tiebreaker. He's like, let me just farm the creeps first. <laughs> then they go and got the guaranteed kill. And oh dear. Oh. oh. Okay. Might have been more too far for KP though. Yeah, I mean, he gets a free kill, but he's getting punished hard from it. Nova still got the snowball to use. Obviously, didn't want to use it too early in case uh, KP just decided to go for a TP out. And killing spree there for you, Posh. Okay. Our playing Fnatic getting, getting a tower out of this though. That's a good tower to get, the top tier one for Radiant side. That is, that's a lot of space to work with right now. Yopaj does actually TP up, but it's too late to actually make anything happen. Oh, and FBC. They might have to get the kill onto FBC. He drops the raw, but it's going to make absolutely no difference whatsoever. Now Yopaj has got to be careful. He's in some real danger. There's still a few seconds left on top of the metamorphosis. Our Mel's here for good measure. And down goes the Kunker. No, te no teleports available on the supports. But they actually go around the tops. The smoke's not going to get broken. They want to go for that higher priority target or FBZ if they can get him. I'm also oh, broken. There is going to be the Fisher, but it doesn't look they're too eager to follow up straight away. Nice, nice pulverize. Actually cancels the animation from Zephyr. So could get the arrow off. Out comes the Echo Slam as well, but still just FBZ who dies. X Nova's going to get caught out. Zephyr leaping away. Got two charges to work with. And oh! actually stayed just in the radius of that sentry ward there and gets caught out so three kills for Fnatic, not losing anybody is gabby gonna try a kill on natsumi in the mid lane he's thinking about it Natsumi trying to tp out but armel's there for the cancel as well right this Ooh. this is just the Fnatic show right now Six thousand gold advantage at 12 minutes in like natsumi needs two three items probably even four before he can start matching the actual damage output of a terror blade it's very hard but talking about poor old sniper hey, he's just dead he's he's play no, farming very very aggressive right there with no one around no wards and yeah definitely and, i mean especially it seems how dominant fanatic have been able to be in these early parts of the game like southeast asian teams when they go against teams from other region they tend to be a lot more conservative mm -hmm. but and that's ends up hurting them but then play against another team you can see their full potential yeah definitely they just do all KP. the strats they want to do kp in some real dangerous good stun lockdown and the long range damage is actually there they do find the kill charge forwards though the raw comes out oh. on towards our mail before he can get the bkb off so he just dies to all of that damage that comes flooding in two people dead now for now dj also in some danger and the x mark will guarantee his death so that's exactly nice. what boom needed oh oh those shards so close to getting the grab onto shanuel as well Especially if you can find her a haste rune, right? Just haste rune plus that, just fly around with the ult going off. Great fun. Well, meanwhile. Yeah, get, a, get, get a centaur. Uh, Whoa, oh, DJ! Here. Absolute colossal armor oh, comes on in. Unfortunately, he does get punished for it, but did a huge amount of damage in response. Unfortunately for him, Fnatic just weren't in the right position to capitalize on it. Nice dodge there of the arrow from KP with the Yule Scepter, but still can't avoid the torrent. Exover jumping in, it's all the control, and Death Prophet drops. 
it started off so well for Natic, but I, I just don't think they were ready for that initiation. Now they have to run away. And this could be the Roshan going towards Boom, but I say that. And Fnatic are actually sort of holding the high ground right now. Okay, Shinoel is going to get caught. The Hawk finding out the old CM. And she will be caught. Assassinate for good measure to get the grab. Okay, and the, the final two survivors for Fnatic will be able to disengage. That's uh, with extra attack speed from, from the Beastmaster. That's, that's an interesting shard. And uh, John Well, he's like, no, we are not going to give this one without a fight. But they do not have the Echo Slam. No, oh, jump in from Gabby, very aggressive there with the meta activate. That's just straight up BKB TPs. He does manage to make it, but he's sort of all right, guys. You're on your own. I am out of here. FBC also doing the same, and they will manage to get away alive. Yo, Paj, though, might get spotted from KP. I think he got a glimpse on him. Yeah, but it's a bit too late, though. Like, uh, Terrorblade farmed up. He doesn't need any time to bring down Roshan. He takes the shard for himself. Actually, going in for the Yule Scepter next as well. I guess that's. Yeah, to try and dodge this uh, X torrent uh, arrow combination, which Boom have been using quite a lot. And actually, jump before us oh, right yeah. now. Cut stun connection onto Armel, chaining him. He does not have an opportunity to pop that BKB, so he is down. And Gem also snatched up. By the way, Coalesce, love the word. Great word, great word of the day calendar that you've got there. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. I mean, meanwhile, Wait. General, he's got. He's got oh, task up. Ooh. Gabby, that's Hello. a perfect target to find first. If Boom, they can bring him down. He's still alive for now. Raw as well. So much connections. And oh, they actually God. do. The damage output is there. The TB in the ground. And now Fnatic going to be caught in disarray. KPI, though, stuck in deep, just charging at the sniper. But he's got four heroes surrounding him. And I think he knows he's dead momentarily. Meanwhile, Yo Parge oh, into the back line. Januel cannot escape from that. The relentless right clicks Use bring him go. down. I oh, don't no, charge for the echo. Finds the grab onto that Sumi. Zephyr also dropping down for Nagra. Actually being able to turn this fight around. Currently in a three versus three. Blink up to the from Armel, but doesn't look like he's going to be able to find anyone. I say that and they do. Nice little tidal wave there from Yopage. Pushes them back. But regardless, the charge force of Armel. They're keeping on top of the Kunkka. There's no escape for the old pirate. And down he goes. But now I just want to fight with Gabby doing nothing. Okay, they pinpoint his location and they bring him down. If they go for two racks, we might see a buyback being forced for Natsumi. And we see Armel's right in the front. So, it's, I mean, they're booking it, but it's going to be close. Yeah, Ted X over, jumping on towards DJ instead. Apes already picked up. Arrow connects. Earthshaker is down for the count, what? or is he? He's still alone. Okay, eventually he does fall. Raw also connects onto Armel, pushes him into X Nova's face. The Tusk did not want to see a Primal Beast there. And it looks like we'll get X Nova killed eventually. So, I mean, as it stands though, it's a one for one trade, and you force a buyback out. Is. Yeah, but you got the Aegis. And yeah, we're pretty much six slide. Obviously, can't go for the. Oh, actually, no, he's already got the X person. Never mind. Oh, yeah. he took it from Rush. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, the free one. Yeah, that is. Oh, my lord. Okay, this guy's just too big to deal with right now. There is the Terror Wave. Gonna guarantee this grab onto FBZ. No chance to respond. Back. Yeah, down for 70 seconds. And do Fnatic go for Megas or they just go for the end? Just managed to get a decent swap off. It's just gonna force Boom to disengage. But regardless, the full set of barracks is just gone. And they realize that uh, FBC is not coming back. Fine, we'll just take everything you we can take from your base in that time. Yeah, there's nothing Boom could do. They just have to sit back and watch their buildings die. But our mail's like, now I'm bored of hitting buildings. Charges in. Nice time again. Dragon 2 back there from Yopage. Do they have enough lockdown though? I'm not sure if they do. Gabby's just turned into the sentry gun, right clicking away. Yopage is pretty damn tanky. He does actually successfully bring down our mail at the very least. And now Gabby back to it onto the buildings. Melee down. He's, I think he's going to commit everything to go for the uh, range. Nice ah, move. For absolute massive tidal wave again. Even got the grab there on towards KPI. Death Prophet's in an awkward position. Blink into the trees and TP out. Does make it. Very nice they move. It. And then you just get ganked on immediately. It was pretty rough. But for now, going for this very ambitious little five man smoke move. Going to go into the base. See who they find, you pass stepping out, hit from the Fisher. Is that really the target they want? It looks like you have to commit for it regardless, but he's so damn tanky. He oh, might survive molly. long enough right now. He might just get the BKB off regardless. He's right clicks up Gabby, a rain and oh. Indy can't survive. He's down for 100, no buyback. Mega's also been secured. KP might lose life. This might just be the end, KP taking a beam. But watching oh. the defensive Sunder there from Gabby, he gets four star back out and <laughs> he just throws his life away for his offlaner. Wow, what a, what a man. That's, a, that's teamwork.
Holding them back allows us to disengage. Going to reach the base. Oh, yeah, something that Boom are going to have to address. The Angels going to be doing so much work and they've got to make their choice. Aegis or their base. It looks like their base. Oh, but the TP got cancelled there from DJ. Echo Slam as well. Not quite enough pull-up damage to get the kill, but regardless, it's forcing Boom to take the fight and stand their ground. Armo with speed can be activated, but the Sniper's still doing work by these constant fishers from DJ. Just doing so much work at mitigating the damage, but still, he's doing what he can. Armo oh, wants to survive, but he just cannot get away. Even the Hex there locking down on towards the Death Prophet. KPI into real danger. Finally, the TB has respawned, but it's too late. They're just losing people left, right, and center. Another casualty falls. Multiple buybacks expended from Fnatic, at least they're able to get the grab there onto X-Nova. But regardless, that was a very, very expensive fight for them. Kind of sick slot, right? Like, what do you sell? BKB, Scotty, Satanic? Like, these are all really good items. Hurricane mm. Pike, you need it. Yeah, that's, that's, easy. A, that's a tough choice. Jumping forwards, they got the connection on towards the beast He's able to pop the BKB at least, see if he can survive long enough to use many more of his skills. Boat land onto Gabby, hold it back the TB. Meanwhile, KPI did so much work at the back lines, forcing the entirety of Boom to try and address him. Beastmaster is dead. KPI is still alive for now. Gabby getting controlled. This torrent storm doing so much work. Oh, Windbreaker. X over. In some danger as well. Four stuff down. Armel going to keep chase. He's on top of the sniper right now. Is there going to be enough pull up? Yes, there is. There's no way that he can survive this one. Or can he? Four stuff again. Four stuff once more. There's so much push. Hatsumi getting all the that space around. And they're turning this around right now. He's back onto full HP. Fnatic are forcing to run away. Gabby's already dead. DJ's gone as well. How the hell have they managed to pull this off? They kept the sniper alive. Mega Cream comeback. Are we really going to see it? I hope so. Uh, this is an absolutely fantastic show coming out from Boom. I am disappointed. I'm not going to lie. The drum. This is this. I. the drums do 1,650 damage. It's a lot. Like they really hurt. Damn, that is a lot. Helps clear away the TB illusions as well, which is always a nice bonus. Oh, oh, jump forward to Marmel. They got the grab on towards the sniper, but this time he does have the Aegis. Echo also dropped, but still he's alive for now. Four staffs off to the side. Another use of the concussive oh. grenade. He's getting his distance. Going to allow to start throwing those right clicks out as KPI is locked in position. But another fish from DJ. Constantly getting the collections onto the sniper, locking him down. The tor this torrent oh, storm and control at ends of the earth. This Armel and Gabby, they can't do anything. Just Hex, just locked the stun. He wants to be able to use Zolm if he can. It's on cooldown, but he's not using it. There's no targets. He's buy dead. Back. Has to buy back. They did get the first life of the Cyber at very least. Jumping in. There is going to be the Terror Wave. There's no chance that this time Natsumi can survive. He is down. Zephyr also good at full. And the tips there from DJ, obviously, good luck down to the Sniper, but multiple buybacks have been forced out from both sides. Yeah, definitely, you don't want to get tidal waved inside the fountain. That could just be really, really rough. But we shall see, though, in this four versus oh. three. There's going to be yeah. one of them dragging it back. Forced off, though. B gives the space to uh, Gabby to disengage. And looks like everyone else on flat could just going to run. Really nice to have. Uh, oh, they got the giant ring. All oh, great on the Primal Beast as well as the X Machina. Yeah, that is big. I mean, he already loves to trample on top of people, but him being extra large is going to be even more value. Meanwhile, in the mid, though, KPI has just KP. been caught and torn to shreds. Has a buyback. Has a buyback. It's all right. KP is down. They want to force his buyback if they can. Let's see it's, if they, uh... it's a gamble. See if it pays off. DJ, oh, smoke breaks. Oh, he's been caught pretty out of position right now. The right clicks from that Tumi from afar bring him down, but again, he is one of the people that has a buyback available. Oh, thrown. Yeah, now to be beat into tier fours. Meanwhile, help FPC all his creeps take down the barracks in front of him. We see this smoke wrap though coming up from Fnatic. They're going to try and get this pin to maneuver immediately. Armel on top of the sniper. We're going to lock him down for as long as possible. The right clicks of Gabby reining in, but still Natsumi's not really taking up damage at all. He's able to disengage. And now Armel oh, no. gets booted out of position. This primal beast is in real danger right now. Meanwhile, DJ as well as KPI trying to do what they can on towards Katsumi. But the sniper's a sentry gun. Stand this ground. Out comes the echo again, but fourth. Star, four stuff once oh. more. Finally, Natsumi is dead. Down for two minutes. No buyback. And this could just very well be the end of Boom Esports in this first game. As Fnatic are just running all over them right now. Buybacks are bound. But is it making any difference? I don't think so. And nope. GG is called. Boom tap out. Holy moly. It took them 62 minutes. But Fnatic managed to do it. They... I mean, remember when we started the lading phase two days ago and we were like, man, FBZ is really suffering. He comes back into the game, your pause had a great lading phase and...
sure. Like we said, right? It's gonna be. I do not want him to get any ruins, and unfortunately, our Mel will not. Xnova gets an arcane rune. Oh, that's gonna be some pings from uh, your pa. It's like, hey, oh, top lane. Yeah. Three on three. Chuck it away. Skewer away. FPC should be safe. Xnova making his own rotation up here. The sleep just getting bounced between the two supports right now, trying to disengage, but it doesn't matter. There's overwhelming amount of damage. They get two kills. And DJ, the only survivor. So you see him just constantly getting run out. Every time you look down, bot, KP is just trying to run himself away, and Natsumi's just on his on his tail, just whacking away. Well, for Fnatic, I'm trying to think of when it gets better. There, I mean, they also have saw a team fight with the Wukong, but oh, we got engagements here, Jean Well. Yeah. Engagement did not engagement. last long. <laughs> yeah, he just disappeared. We would the rest of the team actually coming in. Maybe they'll try and turn this round. Gabby with the help of our Mel. Gonna get the initial kill onto Exnova. Zephyr caught in the trees. So it ends up being a two for one trade there for Fnatic. Potentially not even done yet. Our Mel did swash buckling aggressively, but they will decide to fall back. And just the two doubles for now. But, I mean, they are coming on in. FBZ, this will be a Blink Dagger reveal, and it's going to be DJ. Actually, is this normal invis? There Jumps up go. to the high ground, right? RP commit, wants to go for that very high priority kill of the Pangolier. The Terrorize, though, lands onto three of them. Armel super oh. low, but those right clicks from that Sumi. Oh, there was literally one little tap left in him, and just about enough for Boom to grab the two kills and the tier one tower. What do Fnatic really need to do to start bringing this game back down to an even standing? Like, is it? I, I don't know. Is it like just Armel with the the Brewmaster? They just got to try and look for fights, and actually, never mind. Looks like a fight has found them. Chanuel getting skewed back, but they're actually going to now commit the Brew Ultimate. See if they can focus some people down right now. KP, uh, FPZ, sorry, he's pretty tanky, but even he can't withstand all of that. Yopage with his haste room just about running out right now, and instead, Zephyr's going to be the one that gets caught. Double kill there for Armel. And even, they got the Cyclone grab on towards the old Tusk as well. Looks like he's going to be the third casualty here for Boom Esports. Absolutely nothing they could do to keep him alive. All right, so, <laughs> I, was, I was saying, what do they need to do? And that is it. That, they caught Boom Esports unaware, but with a shard on the Ricky, they can get some pickoffs, and especially with the Monkey King jumping. Oh, Monkey King. Uh, yeah, has been caught. Now it's going to be the feed script locking in place. Bound to strike even strolled away for good measure. And FPZ, you know, not interested at in risking the possibility of Gabby escaping and does just commit the old RP. That's who he was able to solo DJ. Let's see if they decide to do it. Obviously, they changed their mind a little bit, moving outside the triangle, but they have gone into the Roche pit instead. But Fnatic making this smoke move. Janua smokes Ooh. about to break, so they got the vision. He immediately gets gone on himself, though. Can he survive? Managed to get the tricks of the trade-off and the jump to the high ground, so he does manage to evade death. Now the potential turnaround could come here from Fnatic. Four star pushing Yopage out, RP as well as the Fiend's grip, lock it down onto the Panga, but the three-man boundless did absolutely huge work. The Terrorize was there, trying to make a little bit of space. And it looks like the majority of Boom be able to disengage what FBZ with the quick blink dagger as well. Somehow, oof, <laughs> I was gonna say somehow nobody dies, but X Nova, he does get picked off at the very end. Uh, and Yopaj, he, he's got in, he's infested with Natsumi, they want to go for more, can they get Armel? They're going for it, oh! That's a big kill, punch up, mid-dive as well, and Armel just disintegrates. Natsumi able to avoid the terrorize there with the rage, but doesn't look like they're too interested at in forcing out for anything more. The low ground sentry there just barely misses the, the obs right outside the pit, unfortunately. Uh, Natsumi the one to have that, but the rest of the squad doing a smoke maneuver without him. Just gonna land to keep on farming up while they make some more space, and... They do find a wild Dark Willow. Nice tumblers up to the high ground, actually. They're pinging it out. Yeah, they get the vision threat that is up there. Telekinesis is going to drag them back down. But it looks like the rest of Fnatic want to try and contest this fight right now. Gabby jumps in with the Rolling Thunder. They've got good connections so far on towards Yopage. Is there any further support to come out? No, there is not. So it ends up being a pretty decent trade there for Fnatic with the extra flavor of X Nova on top. Two for one. Let's... Uh, yeah, not the most ideal counter in the world, but if they can get some good uses, it will be something. Meanwhile, five-man smoke from Fnatic. Immediately, Zephyr does get spot. Bounder Strike still gets the connection. That is 100% a dead Rubik. Actually, he managed to get a couple of spells off the very least, just delaying it. Oh, busy. Meanwhile, big lockdown. The shards what trapping him in. And that's a free grab there on towards the Magnus. Everyone else disengaging. Snowball from Yopar is just trying to make some space. But this is just a proper runaway right now. Can he actually escape? I don't think so. On the Cyclone, oh, oh. a little 
little bit of miscommunication there, but regardless, they should still be able to find this kill, or will they? Kipar's just really making it work for it right now. Alright, that I gotta ask something that I'm not quite sure. Like, how, oh, look at that! They got a, that's they know he's there. That's Sumi. Does that have a TP scroll? Oh, he might that, be dead. That is a huge mistake to get caught without a TP. He's got to try and stand his ground. First life gone. Uh, there is Zephyr and Nova, but they're like, nah, you're dead, buddy. Uh, we're not getting above. Well, that's a very, very nice pick off there for Fnatic. And just like that, balance this game out right away. Actually, maybe not even done. Oh, KP. Zephyr. Found a potential they grab can... here onto Zephyr. Can he get away? There is the answer. That's a second death. And uh... since they brought out the change where, you know, you can scale and get damage, it's not as bad. But... Mm. Yeah, it definitely still feels a bit more awkward. But, um, I mean, I suppose the um, Tusk and Life Stealer, generally they're going to be focused on different targets, so it might not be too yeah. bad. So, I mean, what, well, <laughs> just shows his Desolator very nicely there. Gets oh. a free kill to DJ, and there's one of those cliff spots gets cancelled. RP also locked down to the two of them. Boom. Nalix are taking a massive fight right now. Stolen Boundless just to extend the stun duration. Gabby trying to stand his ground with the BKB, but it's just not enough. He will fall. FBZ is a real danger. Slowly getting brought down. He will fall. And can anyone else end up uh, getting taken out here? Nasumi charging after the Ricky, but he just keeps on jumping away towards all the pandas, and there's no detection. Oh, yeah, Shani has gone. Might not be quick enough here. Uh, I think that is going to be Roche going over towards the side of Fnatic. Shard on the deck, which they give to our melt. I want Max. Can you get five man RP? Yes, I can. Uh, well, not exactly. But he's going to go for the shard, so he just wants to make sure he can catch people out. It's still very hard to play against the Ricky, though. The vision advantage. Oh, here we go. Yeah, definitely is. Let's jump in him. Got to grab it to KP, but they still got to get the kill instead. Zeph is actually the first catch. Now they're going to pop out Gabby. He's taking a lot of damage right now. He does yeah, heal up, though. Nice boundless onto the creep. But he's trying to stand his ground first. Natsumi is getting those Jingu stacks, and Natsumi actually has to run away himself. Still got a few seconds left on the rage. BKB's obviously already been dropped, and now he's just stuck. Has to stand his yeah. ground. He can't do it. He gets taken out, and still Fnatic pushing forwards. Can they get another one? Or oh, if that Bounder's connected, they might have dived into the base for it, but... Boom, they want to take a fight now. This is not too bad. Even Fnatic lose it, because there's no ages for them to take after. Yeah. Let's see who's... They find the high ground ward, but does also get spot out themselves. And looks like Fnatic want to try and defend oh. this ward if they can. KP jumps in, but gets immediately skewed right now. It's still the almost there. The sleeping dark came through to deny the RP connection. Finally, the RP is there on towards the Monkey King, but two, three supports actually already dropped. FP is in danger. Will disengage, and now Yopage sort of separated, pops his BKB, but just the damage that comes in from Gabby is too much to deal with. And the Monkey King isn't even done. Oh, he just Lord. found FB said, How did he know he was there? But the Fiend's Grip turned around from X Nova, locking down the Monkey King. Where is the response? Where is the help? It is nowhere to be seen. Gabby is dead. X Nova at least going to get traded away. But Natsumi, he could just stand his ground and beat into anyone. There's no Monkey King. He's really the only person he fears at this stage. And he's just got easy kills. By the way, Armel started that fight in the worst possible situation. He got, like, moved in the opposite direction. KP just sat inside of the uh, the pit at the moment. It doesn't look like they're too sure about what they want to do either. Everyone's just sort of hanging around. So actually, a second smoke now getting used from Boom. So they really want to force this oh, fight. KP. KP, that's going to be a really nice target if they can burst him down quickly before he can pop the ult. Terrorize coming out, makes the space, and KP's going to be able to get it off the RP. It misses as a result. This is a terrible start here for Boom. They've already lost the hero. They're almost have whiffed. BKB's a bit expended. Your pass has to use his as well to run away from the sleeping dart. And they're in complete disarray right now. Another grab on to Natsumi. The bash is coming through there with the rolling thunder. Can he do anything? No, he cannot. And the rest of the squad get picked up there inside the triangle area. Looks like the Ruby is going to die there for Zephyr. You're Page in some danger. And four people gone just like that. The only survivor is FBZ. And Gabby, very upset because he wanted that Rampage. Just, yep. they absolutely need it. It's the only way to get back on into this one. I mean, the buildings just dropped so quickly. Two sets gone. And the Lotus Orb denying any sort of Telekinesis throw back. And is this just Megas right now? Maybe a little bit of grief for Boom. Hold on to onto this buyback for so long. Charge it through, Yopaz trying to make the space there of his own BKB. Is, the body in front. There's going to be RP, but the skewer doesn't do anything versus the BKB. And in all honesty, I, I don't know what else can be done right now. And they might be able to get this grab on towards KP, but he's still able to get off the primal. And he's just going to run away there with the old pandalings. And yeah, he's safe. 
with the storm one gone. Actually, boom, maybe overextended, trying to get this kill, and yeah, FBZ, miles out position. Down for 70, no buyback. I mean, they could go back and do Roche, or they could end. Yeah, 100%. Monkey King doing all the things he wants. Pretty much a full 10k ahead of Natsumi. Uh, I feel I feel for the guy. You know, yeah. Natsumi had a really good performance, but it's just not enough. No, it's uh, it's not quite working out this time. Roll 30, come here. They just go straight away. Nice boundless lands onto the back lines as well. The poor old life stealer. He can't do anything. He's just controlled way too much. There is going to be the buyback. Let's see if they can force Fnatic away from their base. I don't think they can. Both tier fours gone. The Aegis, uh, the Ancient, sorry, is exposed. Snowball actually drags them out of their base for that perfectly tied boundless lands onto that Tsumi with the Abyssal Blade locked down. The life stealer, he's just dead. And that is it. GG is called. Boom Esports are done with this series and they're done with the tournament as they get taken out by Fnatic 2-0. That means that, to, to, that tomorrow we'll be seeing Fnatic going up against Polaris Esports. But uh, congratulations, Fnatic. They stay alive in the tournament, still having a few more days, hopefully, uh, together as a team.